Hi there! Today's video is a very simple one. In today's video, you'll learn how to create a 3D text effect in Adobe Illustrator, so let's get started. I already have a blank document created here in landscape mode. So first of all, I'm going to grab the rectangle tool and make a rectangle covering the entire artboard. And uh, let's also fill it with some color. Now I'm going to lock this layer and uh, create a new layer by clicking on the create new layer button at the bottom of the layers panel. All our work will be done on this new layer. Now let's grab the text tool and type in some text. So I'm going to type shadow in capital letters. Next, holding shift and option on a Mac or shift and alt on a PC, I'm going to make two copies of my text. Now select the topmost text and fill it with white. And then select the last text and using the eyedropper tool from the toolbar on the left, click on the background color to sample and copy it to the text. Now go to fill option and ensure that you are on the HSB mode and not RGB. You can always switch between modes from the burger menu on this panel. Using the brightness slider, darken the color by moving the slider to the left and now you should be able to see the text on the artboard. Similarly, click on the text in the middle and again, using the eyedropper tool, sample the color from the text that is at the bottom. So at this point, both the text in the middle and the last one should have the same color. Now with the text in the middle still selected, go to the fill option and much like we did earlier, from the HSB option, just slide the brightness option to the right to make it a little lighter than the text at the bottom. Next, select both the bottom and the middle text and select the blend tool from the toolbar on the left and click and drag between the texts and you shall find them blending already. Now go to object and then blend and blend option you might not have the same settings, so just update your settings to specified steps for spacing and uh, update the number to 100 and hit OK. Since mine is already set to the settings I want, I won't make any changes here. Next, using the selection tool, double click on the text to blend that you've just made to enter into the isolation mode and select the bottom text. And holding Shift in Option on a Mac or Shift in Alt on a PC, drag it inward as illustrated. Now select the text on top and bring it to front using Shift Command and right bracket on a Mac or Shift Control and right bracket on a PC. Please ensure that you don't forget this step, else you won't be able to get the right effect. Now with the bottom text selected, click on the warp option on top. You can also find the warp option under effect if you don't find it on the toolbar above. All I need to do is give it a little bend, so I'll stick to 9% and hit OK. Now you can come out of the isolation mode by hitting the back arrow twice from above. Next, place the white text right on top of the shadow effect that you've just created. Now we need to do one last thing and for that, let's grab the rectangle tool and make a rectangle almost as big as our text and using the corner widget, round the corners as well. Now using the eyedropper tool, I'm going to pick the same color as my shadow or similar color. It doesn't really have to be exactly the same. Let's also reduce the opacity to about 40 to 45% and uh, send it to back by hitting shift command and left bracket on a Mac or shift control left bracket on a PC. And now the last step and for that you have to go to effect and then blur and then select Gaussian blur and change the radius to a large number. I'd say something between 60 and 70 should be good. We just need a shadowy effect and then hit OK. And there you go, the 3D shadowy text effect is ready. Well guys, like I promised, it's going to be a simple one, and so it was. 
So I hope you've enjoyed the video and uh, if you have, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Until we meet again on Sunday, goodbye and thanks for watching.